<laughs> All right. Amen. So first things first, uh, congratulations um, on your BCG offer. So um, how did it feel to receive the happy call? Yeah, first of all, thanks to you, City, for, for your help in the preparation. Um, I was the whole day really nervous, to be honest, and then I got the <laughs> call and uh, I was, uh, yeah, I was really happy to, to hear that I, in the end, made it. Yeah, yeah, great. Uh, so how did you experience the whole process of interviewing with BCG, right? Uh, reflecting on the different, uh, different rounds that you had and also mm -hmm. on the maybe different types of interviews you had. Could you share a little bit? Yes, sure. Um, so I had my first interview in December, um, which consisted uh, out of one virtual uh, chat bot interview, which was a little bit special, yeah, and yeah. Two, um, two interviews with two projects leader. Uh, there I was really able to more or less do the standard uh, case, the case structuring, and uh, it was more or less what I expected. Then mm -hmm. in January, I had the, the round, the second round with uh, with two partners and another project uh, manager and mm -hmm. the partner interviews, they were much less structured. I did uh, not have to do one single calculation. Mm -hmm. It was really just a, a conversation. Um, and to be honest, I, I had the feeling that the ones with the, the partner were actually much easier because they were much more con conversational and not yeah. so artificial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually... Um pretty typical um, uh, in, a, in the case when in the first round you've already convinced them quite a, uh, quite a lot, right? Because yeah. if um, according to the feedback of your first interviewers, you're a, an outstanding candidate, a really, really strong candidate, then they won't go into depth and try to trick you or try to pressure you, right? Yeah. Then it's more like really getting to know you and to some degree, of course, also selling, <laughs> selling the company to you. <laughs> Cool. So um, let's maybe um, talk a little bit about uh, how we uh, prepare to get you offer ready, right? Uh, because sure. I remember when we did our first uh, session uh, where I run this diagnostic on you, right? I told you yep. that you have excellent uh, natural intrinsics, but that you somewhat need to turn around your approach a little bit uh, regarding how you, uh, um, yeah, how, you, how you address strategic questions and that you have to forget a little bit uh, the stuff yeah. that you know from the, yeah, from the typical uh, um, yeah, case books like case in point and so on, right? And then we established the methodical grounding um, on which you then could build your case muscle. Um, so if you reflect back, what would you say? How has this more mature way of thinking about strategic questions and the independence from frameworks how has this helped you to be successful in your bcg interviews yeah i think that there are two main things and the first one is that i was less nervous because i i didn't have the feeling i had to memorize some kind of frameworks <laughs> yes. um and the second point is that i think we we build up the muscle of more or less solving every case um mm. because if you learn these uh, these frameworks by heart, you you always want to apply the framework, but often like the case is not perfectly suited for for the framework, and then you run into problems. Mm -hmm. um, and if we or, or what we did, we build up this case solving muscle and really asking like, what do I actually need to solve the case? Mm -hmm. um, and if you got that, then you are able to like with your yeah more or less with your own thoughts come up with the right solution and answer. Um, and this actually also helped me in this online case at, uh, with BCG. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, th there you get the question, uh, you have uh, a case, and then they ask you like, which kind of information do you need to solve the problem? Mm -hmm. And this was exactly what, that, what then helped me. I draw down the structure for myself, yeah. and I knew these are the, the, the three things that I need. I was able to click them and uh, I was, uh, I mean, I think I, I did, did okay. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have gotten the answer. So I yeah. think this, this, this case muscle also then helped me for, for the online case as well. When I, when I re reflect now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. So, um, when you were, um, having your, yeah, your one-on-one -on -one interviews with the real interviewers, right? Uh, so, and if you just don't, uh, uh, if you don't think about uh, what it was about, but more how it felt, right? Uh, uh, how would you describe this? Uh, just uh, was it? Did it feel like an oral exam or something like that? Or how did it? How did it feel like? What would you say? Mm -hmm. um, I think I have to differentiate the ones with the project leads and the one with mm -hmm. the partners. 
Yeah. Uh, the one with the project leads, it was a little bit a former um, conversation, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. And you together solved the case. Yeah. Um, and I had the feeling that the interviewer was like more my, my, my boss, like uh, I'm the consultant and he's the yeah. project leader. Yeah. And I, I also had the feeling that he, he wants me to succeed. Um, mm -hmm. So he also helped me a little bit um, if I needed it. Um, yeah. And with the partners, it was really like a, a conversation. There were also topics that I personally was fam familiar with. Mm -hmm. And then um, like it really felt natural to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. So uh, do you already have a start date set or are there any restrictions on due to COVID? Um, uh, how do you experience mm -hmm. this situation at the moment? Um, no, there, there are luckily no restrictions with COVID. Um, it's, it's something actually that is super cool about BCG. You sign a contract and there's no start date. Uh, that's something in Switzerland uh, mm -hmm. that you personally clarify um, and uh, I haven't done that yet, but uh, it will probably be later in the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. I mean, listen, man, great achievement, right? Congratulations again. Um, I wish you a great start at BCG, whenever that might be, right? And I'm sure you're going to have an amazing career. Yeah, thanks so much, Sidi. Uh, I think yeah, you, you really played an immense part in, in that success. So again, a, a big thanks from, from my side and, of course, wish you all the best. Thank you. All right. Cheers.